morning. Uh, this morning, Les and Neil and myself are uh, doing the foreshore to the west of the pier. Um, currently standing in my little coin beach because that's where we're going out from. We're going directly out from here. And uh, see what's there because we've never really done it before. Done it once where we went out on the hard path which is over behind me in that direction, further over to the west. Uh, we will be covering that area again but we'll also be going further out. But well, that's our intention, whether it actually works out like that, I don't know. But anyway, uh, as soon as Neil turns up we'll head off out so I will see you on the first hole. Good morning. First signal is a 23. So I thought I'd do a live dig. This is my very first thing. I've literally been at it for about two minutes. So today could start off a lot better than yesterday did. And it has nugget what a start to the day two minutes nugget number one all in all at the beach yet again this is my fourth day on the trot first signal is uh, one of them it's uh, an M probably off a chain or something like that a 16 signal and I've, uh, I've switched back to the 15 inch coil and done a factory reset because we're going out on the foreshore a bit more area to cover but yeah first find I don't think it's silver it just looks like a bit of bling an M first time of the day 2p there's a 2p <laughs> p <laughs> third one in a row well, my next signal just dug out of there and it's still in the sand and there it is and it is nugget number two in bad condition it's been down here a while um, a lot of sand has been shifted off of this beach it's definitely more of a slope on it than it used to be but there's no cut it's quite a shadow beach so there's no real cut on it but anyway nugget number two all right i haven't touched this this is exactly it's got a 26 signal this is exactly how it was i think that's a ring God, that's a whopper jesus it's only bling but <laughs> now that is just on the surface oh my god look at that not bad not a bad start this morning it's going to be my day I can tell I can see something coins in the mud Plenty for you. I'm on the beach next to the beach. So I'm basically two beaches away from the little coin beach. And my next find is this, which I quite like. It's a little um, necklace pendant. And it's two love hearts intertwined. I think that's really sweet. But it's um, got stones all over it, but I doubt very much it's. Um, silver or anything of any value but anyway it's my next find i thought i'd crack on along here because the beach next to this one is where i used to find all my gold rings i've never actually done this beach so i'll give it a little go in here for an hour and then i'm gonna head off out onto the foreshore 5p all right next find so that's how i've scooped it out out of the water that is so uh, it's a little coin, it's 10, so it's probably going to be, even though they're usually 11, it's going to be a 5p, I think. Yeah, 5 pence. Uh, yeah, first coin, 5p. 
Okay, well this was quite a deep faint 14 signal. Uh, see it now, but it's uh, it's now a 16 signal and it is uh, 20p. It's getting better. Need that nugget. Next coin, 10 pence. I thought it was a foreign coin for a minute, but no, it's only a 10 pence piece. Things looking up, 50p in the scoop. There's another sound down here as well. I've just come out onto the uh, wet, and uh, first coin is a little Elizabeth II, sixpence. I thought it was a 5p, but it was coming up as a 9. Uh, so a little sixpence. Can't see the date. Yeah, quite a nice little find that. Good condition. Uh, my next find... Oop, bugger. My next find is a little junk ring. But I knew they were out here. I knew there were rings here. Unfortunately, this one's just a junker. But if I keep plodding around, as I say, I've been gridding this beach here, as you can see by the lines. Well, I don't know if you can see them on camera. But uh, I've been gridding here, and I've had a little, obviously that two heart entwined thing, and now a little junk ring. So hopefully, there'll be a gold ring or something here. All right, let's keep going. Next, find the little crappy junk ring. Okay, well, I just had a pesky penny from down there, and right next to it, it was really smooth the penny actually right next to that is a really smooth 50p yeah there's not a lot left of that feels really thin as well there you go 50p it might spin right well it absolutely chucked it down then i got soaked and uh well i keep forgetting i've got short boots on <laughs> i've got two booties now wading through these poles but yeah, I've got, um, got one signal there that was 30 but there's two fishing weights two for the price of one and two booties <laughs> very nice well, my next find is a little silver ring I've come back right in close to shore where I've been doing this beach where I've been doing my lines and I thought well we had to hide from the rain so we hid under this and uh yeah, we hid under this slipway here, and when it stopped raining, I thought, well, what I'll do is I'll just cover this last little bit I hadn't done yet, and uh, nice little silver ring. Yeah, I like that. Ring number two. Hole there, another 2 p It's definitely a 2p day for me. Come on. All right, 15 signal. Very deep, that one. Took me ages to find it. But it's a 20p. Just come back onto the beach because I got soaked out there and I wasn't really enjoying it. It was horrible. So back on the beach. Well, my next find out here on the wet. Now I'm this far out, I'm walking out now. And my next find is another nugget. Look at the state of this one. Blimey. This one has been down here for quite a while. But the wind is picking up. We've just had some rain. But now we're going to risk it and we're going to start heading off out. So that's my next find, nugget number three. Right, first pre-decimal half penny. It's quite worn. It's George VI, 1943, just about make out. Yeah, that's uh, pretty well toasted really. Oh well, better than the two feet. Right, got a 14 signal now. Uh, that's a crusty old 50p by the look of it. Seen better days. Well, my next find is a Georgia 5th half penny. Literally, just down there in front of us is where I found that nugget. Now, I've just got this Georgia 5th, and I'm overlooking the new hotel they're building over here. They used to play a place called the Esplanade there and the cliffs kept falling down onto it hence the reason they've got the big um, supports up there you can see the big brown wall that's to stop the cliffs from sliding down 
Yeah, so we don't normally do around here. I mean, that's the lagoon over there. Les is right over there by the seawall. There's Neil out there and the pier, which is probably a quarter of a mile away from me. And uh, I've got the Westcliff hard path, probably about 100 feet over here, which is where I'm heading for. Uh, but anyway, my next find, George V, half penny. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's... It's going 23 all over the place, that. I'll tell you for why. It's a nugget. It's a nugget and a crusty 20p. In the same hole. Yeah. Can't believe we found a nugget. I didn't expect that today. Yep, nugget. And 20p. Well, my next find is this tiny, tiny little coin. It is so thin. Uh, I've just been assured by Neil, it's a little Victoria. He looks at it with his eyepiece. And uh, this wind is getting up, so I don't want this to blow away. I thought it was a hammer at first. Look at how thin that is. I thought it was a hammer at first. But there we go, it's my next coin. A little Victoria silver. Well, that's got to be one of the crustiest coins I've ever seen. <laughs> don't know what it is. It's coming in at six completely blown on the other side I imagine it's a 2p but there's no weight to, well it's probably just all gone on it yep crusty coin terrible well, I should have done a live dig on this one <laughs> 23 but again it's so loud I wasn't expecting it to be this there's always that chance <laughs> that's made my day that is a crusty old two pound coin that's in the right state yeah 23 signal excellent that's more like it find a few more of those I'll be well happy oh, it's a 14 signal doing all right on this little beach and that's a 50p that's not bad it's a bit better condition that one yeah, it's just started raining again as well. Not nice. I think Darren and Neil, they just started heading out. And I think that's a big mistake, because <laughs> I made that earlier. But yeah, I'm going to stick on this little beach and see if I can find any more coins. Doing all right, actually, on here. Well, I think I might head over that way to see if there is actually a pot of gold at the end of that. I think we're in for another soaking. It's a big rainbow over there. <laughs> I've changed detectors to the Knox because it's a bit more waterproof than the Sovereign. I think Darren's seen the light, he's coming. <laughs> there he goes, way over there. It's fine. 50 pence. We've come close back into shore now because the, the weather it's terrible. But anyway, next coin, 50 pence. Okay, 50 pence. Out of that hole there, 10 pence. Well, there's a 21 23 signal in there, but uh, I'm trying to dig it, but I'm getting deeper and deeper. I can't find it. But while digging, I found a 20p, but the other signal's still in there. Let's see if it's in the side wall. Oh god, yeah, oh, there it is, yeah. <laughs> I've been digging deeper. I did use my pinpointer just now and it was coming up here, but it's obviously uh, that might have been the 20p actually, yeah. And the other signal here. completely gone now. Well, that was a disaster. Oh, well, I'm still looking for that 21 signal in the big hole there, but oh, I've searched all around there, found a couple of nails and bits and pieces. Just thought I'd have a scan. There's still something there that keeps... I can't find it with a pinpointer either, so... But just over there, I caught another signal, 15, and it's another 20p. Nice green, 
crusty 20 feet. Yeah, see if I can find that. I don't know. Should just give up really, shouldn't I? We've got an 18 signal there, jumping 24. And when I go to find it. Uh, Nothing. I don't know. This is driving me mad. Live dig time. Oh, I've got a 23-24 signal. I'm kind of hoping it's a nugget, obviously. Gold ring would be better, obviously. All right, it's in the scope. Well, I thought it was in the scope. It is in the scope, but I can't actually see anything. <laughs> oh, I like what we got there. Oh, we have an earring. A big ball earring thing. There we go. First nugget in the rain and the wind. <laughs> a nugget. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. New nugget, not so new. Well, the next coin is a 20 pence piece. And I actually think. That is my first one of the day. Yeah, honestly think it's my first one of the day. I can't always remember. Les is over by that pole with a green thing on the top. Uh, Neil is over there by that groin, right in by the beach there. I'm a little way out off of the uh, Lagoon Beach, just doing my usual lines. And uh, just biding our time now, because we've got half an hour left. So my next coin, 20p. Let's uh, uh, change this side. Uh, it's 28 signal, I'm sure. Let's see a coin sticking out. Is it? Oh, <laughs> falling over. Oh dear. Yeah, that's a coin just there. Yeah, it is. Oh, you know, it's going to be a 2p, isn't it? Ah, what a letdown. This is round about where I had that little sixpence this morning, but it's a 2p. Bugger. Next coin, 10p. I don't know anything for quite a while. Let's drag this old 10p out, the old style, which is a lot bigger. The new style 10p. It's Queen Elizabeth. I think it's just an old 10p. Uh, next find, or very possibly my last, is another earring. Yeah, it's quite an interesting one. Earring number two. Right, this is a 16 signal now. It started off as a 14. Uh, and it's a little six, but it's got a bit missing out off of it. I don't think I've done that. Uh, yeah, I think that's a six, but... Looks like one. It's like George the Sixth. Yeah, it is. I can see the, the pattern on the. Yeah, a bit of a crusty sixpence. Well, well it wasn't my last because uh, I have my fourth nugget. Yeah, nugget number four. Well, that's the end of yet another session and uh, 
actually I did a lot better than I thought I was going to do though I never did get my gold ring um, what I did was the beach I used to find on my gold rings on before they built the lagoon the beach right next to that is the one I concentrated on first thing and uh, I had a couple of rings off of there but unfortunately neither of those were gold um, Les had a very good little spell on a little beach the other side of the lagoon and Neil just did what Neil always does, he plodded around and he was uh, picking up bits and pieces as he went and he didn't do too bad and he finally got his nugget as well. Um, well I hope everyone had a good Christmas. Uh, uh, we got our new year video coming up in a few days so um, stay tuned for that. Um, but we got one more uh, video before that as well so until then bye bye for now.